guys, my name is Tessa and today we're going to be doing beginner's power yoga for weight loss and stress reduction. Um, so it's a good idea to just start in any seated position you'd like. This is um, one of my favorites. This is hero pose. So if you have stiff knees, this might not work for you. You might want to just come to a seated cross-legged position. So go ahead and just start by you know, rooting down wherever you feel your body on the floor, connect with the floor, lift your chest, feel length in your spine, really just bringing greater awareness to yourself. And know that for the next, you know, 20 minutes, you just can focus on yourself. So go ahead and take a few breaths into your abdomen and exhale. It's a good idea to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And you can just breathe through your nose if you'd like. So in this position, just feeling that length in your spine, you can start to roll your shoulders back and down away from your ears. And go ahead and just bring your head down, just a gentle stretch for your neck. So lifting your chest as you bring your chin down, letting the back of the neck release back up and let's go ahead and come to a standing position so light on yoga is a famous yoga book and they say that all poses were created to help us stand correctly um, so this is Tadasana warrior pose and there's a lot going on here might not look like it so just rooting down through the feet, you want to feel connected to the floor and you want to root down through three points in your foot, below the big toe, below the little toe and center of the heel. Feel yourself root down, lift your thighs, engage your thighs as you tuck your tailbone in and lift your chest, relax your shoulders and relax your face. This is standing mountain pose. So go ahead and step your feet wide. So to lose weight, it's um, a really good idea to just build up your muscles, build up your bone density. And these standing poses are great for that. So, um, Triangle pose is probably my favorite yoga pose and that's what we're going to be moving into now. So go ahead and just from this wide-legged position, you're going to go ahead and pivot your feet out. So your forward heel is in line with your back arch. And in any standing pose, general rule of thumb is your wrists are over your ankles, more or less. And we're gonna take our time getting into this. We're gonna warm up and do this several times actually. So to start, go ahead and plant your feet down, root down through your feet. And you wanna feel rooted through that back foot as you come down. So start to slide your hand down and you wanna look down and keep your head in line with your knee. So if you start to come forward like this, you really need to back up as much as you need to to just stay in alignment. You can start to bring that arm overhead. So doing this pose a little bit more gently to start, rooting down through the feet. And you don't wanna be putting a whole lot of pressure on this palm that's on the leg. It's just there softly. Rooting down through the feet and coming back out. And other side, go ahead and pivot to the opposite side. So when you pivot, you want your back foot pivoted in just slightly and you don't want your foot facing away from your knee. That's dangerous for your knee joint. So be sure that your 
Back foot is pivoted in, forward heel in line with your back arch. And these basic mechanics are gonna come in really handy for any standing pose that you're doing. So same thing, just moving slowly, keeping that head in line with your knee. Moving down, keep rooting down through that back heel. And you wanna feel a softness in your knees. You don't wanna just lock your knees back. If you feel a pulling on your inner knee or anywhere, your back, go ahead and just back up as much as you need to. Go ahead and bring that arm overhead. Rooting down through your feet, really lengthening through that fingertip. Really lengthening through those fingertips. And come on out by pressing that back heel. And go ahead and step your feet together, Tadasana. So a great way to learn these standing poses is repetition. So Tadasana again, rooting down through your feet, lifting your thighs, letting your chest open. So in this position, notice that the sides of your torso are long and extended. So to just feel that even more, go ahead and do Tadasana with arms overhead. So just reach your arms overhead like this. Really feel your spine lengthen, feel the sides of your torso lengthen. You wanna keep that in triangle pose. You don't wanna collapse one side of your body. So keep that in mind as we step wide again. So find that position with your feet and go ahead and pivot your legs. So sometimes what I see when people are going down, the reason I said that was this happens. So you really wanna keep that torso long. So you're just going to slide the hand down and pivot the hips to bring that hand down. So keep that in mind as you come into this triangle pose once more, rooting down through that back heel, relaxing your face. And if there's any of this going on, just lengthen that torso. Be sure that your head is in line with your knee. And this might feel like a lot of information to keep track of, don't worry about it. It'll make more sense the more you do it. And back up. And let's go ahead and pivot, do the same thing. So in this position, the torso is long, there's space. So keep that, you're just gonna pivot your hips down. Bring in that hand down the leg, arm overhead, keep that length in the torso as you root down through your feet, relax your face. And it's a good sign if you feel a little bit of sweat, a little bit of heat in the standing position. That's gonna help build the muscle, burn fat, and press that back heel to come out. It's important how you move out of poses. Pressing the feet is a great safe way to get in and out. Tadasana. And there's so much to learn about yoga in this simple position. It's a great teacher for any standing pose that you're doing. So forward bend, let's go ahead and just bring the feet hip distance or you know, wider than hip distance if your legs feel really tight. So go ahead and um, it's like you're crossing your arms. You're just gonna hold your elbows and go ahead and hinge forward. So rooting down through your feet, lifting your thighs, just coming into this more passive forward bend. So just let the head relax. If you're up further, that's fine. Just be sure that your thighs are strong, there's a softness in your knees. If you feel any pulling in your knees um, that hurts, you need to back up. So just letting those hamstrings and calves release. 
go ahead and take a few deep breaths. Really letting that oxygen get to the abdomen, breathing deeply. And just letting go of stress, tension. And pressing the feet, lifting the thighs to come out. So stepping the feet back, Tadasana. We're gonna go ahead and move into warrior two. So in this position, go ahead and just bring your arms up. So rooting down through the feet, really lifting your chest, tucking your tailbone in. Just be aware of what your arms are doing in this position. So reaching through your fingertips, relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. This is the position that you need to be in for warrior two. So hands on hips, go ahead and bring your feet wide. And pivot your feet just like for triangle. So in this position, be sure that your forward heel is in line with your back arch. And it's the same thing, you wanna keep your torso long on each side. And go ahead and warm up that knee. So press through the feet and go ahead and just start to bend that knee. And you want it to move right in line with your toes. It's dangerous to um, you know, lose that awareness in your feet because your knee can buckle in and that's not good for the knee joint. So just be sure that your knee is moving in line with your toes and start to just warm up that leg you know, one or two times. And then eventually you can just stay here and you wanna form a 90 degree angle with your leg that's bent. If you're not there today, don't worry about it. Just go as deep as you can and be sure that you're pressing that back heel as you bend that forward knee. And you want to, your hips are gonna wanna turn this way you wanna keep turning your hips forward. And that's gonna make it more challenging on the thigh, but that's good, because we're building that muscle, burning that fat. And at any point, if this feels like too much, you can just come out and come back in. And opposite side, go ahead and pivot that back foot in. And the forward heel is in line with the back arch pressing that back heel. And you wanna engage that back thigh by pressing the foot, pressing the heel. Bending the knee, just warming up that leg. Be sure the knee is moving in line with the toes. Really just warming up the leg. Don't collapse your torso. And then eventually just staying here, so rooting down through the feet, especially that back heel. And then you're gonna go ahead and just even out those hips. Relax your toes, relax your face. And coming out. And let's go ahead and just step the feet together and just walk out the legs and shake out any tension, even shake out your legs. And now we are ready to put it all together into full warrior two, Baribhadrasana two. Go ahead and separate your feet wide again. And go ahead and pivot your feet. And all these little things, you know, being aware of what you're doing with your feet, it's going to allow you to be in warrior in a way where you're building strength and you're not hurting anything. So go ahead and bend that knee, find that position with your legs, and then go ahead and add the arms. 
So I see this a lot, people reaching forward like this. You wanna keep your torso long on each side. And gaze goes out over those forward fingertips. Relax your face and keep rooting through that back heel. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And if you need to come out and in, that's fine. And just a few more minutes in warrior two. And be sure that back foot is pivoted in still. And it might feel like a lot to keep track of. It will get easier the more that you practice. So go ahead and pivot to the opposite side. Back foot is pivoted in. So first, just coming into this position with the legs. Then you can add the arms. Torso is long on each side. As you root down through the feet, lift the chest, relax the shoulders and gaze goes over your forward fingertips. Relax the face. And again, you can come out and back in if you need to. And feeling that heat, feeling the muscles work, become stronger and stronger. And coming out, go ahead and step the feet back together. Tadasana, mountain pose. You can just shake out your hands and your arms. And forward bend, I think we need a rest after that. It's a challenging pose. So go ahead and hold your elbows and just come into this forward bend. I want a deeper stretch in my hamstrings and calves so my feet are closer together. You can separate your feet if your legs feel tight. So you come into this forward bend, feeling strength in the thighs, letting the hamstrings and calves release. Relax the head. You can turn your head from side to side. Just take a few breaths. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth if you'd like. And lifting the thighs pressing the feet to come out. So this is a balancing pose, tree pose, and it's great for building strength in the thighs as well. So go ahead and start by just feeling yourself in Tadasana, mountain pose, and begin to transfer your weight to one foot. And you can start to just lift that foot. Feel all of your weight in that foot, rooting down below the big toe, below the little toe, and center of the heel. And this is really good for working the smaller muscles that support your bigger muscles, that support your bigger muscles like the quad here. And same thing on that opposite side, just feeling the weight transfer. And you're not locking your knee back. There's a softness in your knee. So moving into tree, go ahead and do the same thing and start to bring that foot on the calf. You want your toes pointing down. So wherever you are is fine. So you wanna keep, you can bend forward a little bit if you need to and just start bringing this foot up your inner thigh. And you're gonna press that foot into the thigh and thigh into the foot. And balance is gonna be a lot easier if you're rooting down through your foot, really staying present in your foot. And you can be here with palms in prayer. You can bring your arms overhead, 
rooting down through the foot, really reaching. Be sure that you're not overarching your low back, so you're tucking your tailbone in, really reaching, you can bring your palms together, relax your face. You can close your eyes if it's hard. You can close your eyes if you want something more challenging. And go ahead and bring the hands and the foot down. You can shake out your feet, just get ready for that opposite side. And you're doing a great job. These are definitely poses that will help you lose weight. They're a little challenging, but worth doing. So opposite foot, go ahead and transfer your weight. Bring that foot on the shin. And balance is a little trickier the more that you bring your foot up the leg. So if you want more of a challenge, you can bend forward to grab hold of that ankle. Just start bringing it up and press up foot against the thigh, thigh against the foot. Prayer. And relax your toes that are on the floor. Root down through your foot. And arms overhead, really reaching, tucking the tailbone in, not overarching that low back. You can bring palms together if you'd like. You can close your eyes and relax your face. Relax your shoulders. And go ahead and release. Tad us in a mountain pose, rooting down through the feet, lifting through the chest, feeling proud. So just shaking out the feet, the legs, the arms. So Tadasana, ending where we started. I want to thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoy today's session. Please subscribe down below if you like this video and let me know if you have any requests, if there's any issues that you're having that you need help with, let me know. And I hope that you have a great day.